You know, it's funny, I was so happy uh, for your success because you interned on our show yes. back in the olden times. Yeah. Uh, did you have fond memories? I of? did, I had the best time here, it was so great. Um, I actually, I um, brought along some pictures. Oh, you got photos. Yes, I brought some photos from when I was an in intern. Let's see, there's, oh, there I am. <laughs> there's Don't a nice young lad. <laughs> yeah. This is from 1958, I think. <laughs> <laughs> sort of related, I think. Like, we kind of look like we could be... Oh, and this is me at your desk. Yeah. I, you know... That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> You've got a lot of questions to answer. <laughs> no one sits behind Bessie Lou. Uh, that, I guess that was a, a, a tradition for interns, is you get yeah. to sit behind the desk yeah. on the last day. Yeah, put on a cool jean jacket and go behind the desk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, it's funny, you mentioned uh, our, our similarity, you're a redhead. Did you find yeah. that that drew you into comedy in any way when you were, did it help you? Like, <laughs> yeah. uh, because I found that when I, was, when I was younger, I was the only one, my parents had six kids and I was the only one that had red hair. And for some reason that may, maybe yeah. gave me the idea to be a little weirder, I don't know. Yeah, I think I think it did for sure. And then when I started like being doing more auditions and stuff, I always would get like sent out on like the most sort of like offensive thing. Like they would always like the, one of the first auditions I did was for this peanut uh, planner's peanut ad, mm -hmm. and they were looking for like an extremely unattractive woman. <laughs> it, it said that in the script. Yeah, it said it's they basically we can do some stuff with makeup, but there has to be a good amount of ugly there, like to get started. It's so, terrible. Yeah. So and the basis of the ad was that like this woman would be like so unattractive, and all these guys would be following her, and you'd be like, why would they follow her? She was like the worst looking person ever. And then at the end of it, you find out. Out, she was using the peanuts as like perfume. So these. <laughs> so the men are following so her because she smells like peanuts. Yeah. <laughs> so, That's horrible. Yeah. And Unless I, Planters is a sponsor. <laughs> um, I'm being given the thumbs up, and I think that's very funny. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah. Also, you're very attractive. Oh, that's that's thank ridiculous. You. That's absurd. Thank you very. No, I tr I got there and I tr oh thank you. <laughs> I got there and I did like an underbite. Like as I was doing the audition, I like w I was doing an underbite and they were like, "What are you doing?" And I was like, "Oh, I thought the underbite would help me to like look more unattractive." And they were like, "You can. You're fine." You're <laughs> I once, I never wanted to be an actor, but once when I was out here years and years ago when I was like 22 and trying to put things together, I, I went to, they told me they wanted me to audition for a part and they sent a script over to my cruddy apartment and I'll never forget, they didn't specify which of the two characters it was. <laughs> and so I was on the phone with the person who had sent the script to me and, and I remember it saying like, I don't know which character it is and the person said, remind me, what are the two characters? And I said, Tab, his devilish good looks make women weak in the knees. You know, he's the coolest guy in town, and, and you know, his blazing sensuality, and the person on the phone said, what's the other one? <laughs> and I was like, Chip, what he lacks in confidence, he also lacks in charm. <laughs> this gangly goofball, you know, is a blot on humanity, and the person was like, there we go! And I was like, I got one once, it was, it was almost like an exploitation film, and there was a character that they wanted me to play. It, it, the full description was, He's a fat, worthless piece of <laughs> And I called my agent and I was like, what part of fat, worthless piece of <laughs> made you think of me? Andy, I saw that movie and you were fantastic. I was really good. I was really good.